What's up, Ball Nation? It's time for the weekly wrap-up. Did I say weekly wrap-up? I think that it's time for the yearly wrap-up, the 2019 wrap-up. Oh yeah, this is going to be special last edition of 2019 weekly wrap-up, yearly wrap-up. It's the last one you're going to see before next semester, and today I'm going to be recapping all the crazy stuff that happened in 2019. So let's get it. Oh yes. 2019 brought the end and the beginning of many new leadership roles at the university. Interim Chancellor Wayne Davis officially retired and new Chancellor Dondi Plowman officially stepped into the role on July the 1st. A new round of SGA executive was chosen by the student body in April with Natalie Campbell, Isaac Holt, and Emerson Bird taking over for Obi Kevier, Haley Page, and Maddie Stevens. Oh yes. That was pretty good. There were also some uh, leadership changes off the campus this past year. India Kincannon won the city mayoral election in November, becoming the second consecutive female mayor for the city. Nationally, President Donald Trump continued to face an impeachment inquiry which had some juicy testimonies. Resident political analysis Evan Mays broke down the impeachment in his last Pop and Politics. I suggest you go check it out. Oh, yes. Disney Plus debuted this past November, giving students more ways to put off their schoolwork. I know I've been enjoying it watching that Mandalorian. Finally, oh yes, I have spoken. This is the way. That's all the quotes I got. Time for the next one. A bunch of new movies revolutionized the film world this past year, starting with The Avengers, Avengers Endgame, which closed the chapter in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was crazy. Also, we've got Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, rounding out this December, the end of the year, closing out the main Skywalker saga, very, very big times that we're in here now. Also, Toy Story 4, adding on another chapter in the crazy Toy Story series that I've been watching ever since I'm a little kid, making me cry every time. A real tearjerker. Lastly, we've got Fro oh. <laughs> Frozen number 2, the follow-up to... The really famous movie Frozen. I have not seen. <laughs> a comptroller's report released in February led to the disbanding of the Student Programming Allocation Committee. A new process has been proposed, composing of student suggestions and final say of Vice Chancellor Vince Corelli. Knoxville faces were seen on reality TV this year in 2019. With Bachelor Jed Wyatt winning and eventually losing Bachelorette Hannah Brown's heart. And UT alum Ovi Kavir participating in Big Brother. Okay. Getting down to the sports of 2019, the Vols made it to a bowl game after a rocky start to their season. While Lady Vols basketball team got off to a hot start under new coach Kelly Harper. Harper replaced Holly Warlick, who was removed as coach for the team from the previous year. Also, the men's basketball team made it to the Sweet 16 this year and have started their new season without powerhouse Grant Williams, Jordan Bone, or Admiral Schofield. Did I say it wrong? It was close enough. Close enough. I'm sure it's fine. I was going to put in there that they were off to a hot start, but they aren't because they lost. So. Not a hot start. Not a hot start anymore. Not a hot start. Cold start. Cold start. Oh, this is kind of Many areas of campus continue to see construction. Oh yes, we all know about crazy construction happening everywhere. Phase two of the student union opened in January and Magnolia and Dogwood Halls opened to start the fall semester. There's more construction here. There's more construction here on the yearly wrap-up. Construction projects to extend Ped Walkway toward the west side of campus and to renovate Neyland Stadium have been announced and will continue for the next couple weeks. Years. Years. Can you say that again? Because it's years. Oh. <laughs> Let me 
we'll just leave it like that. Next one. Okay. Staff members of the Daily Beacon, Kylie Hubbard, Evan Newell, and Noah Taylor, sat in with Paul Feinbaum for the Paul Feinbaum Show in October, sharing the importance of student newsrooms. We're also excited that Daily Beacon staff members were able to receive numerous awards this year, including a first place CMA Pinnacle Award. Oh, yes. This year, we lost a lot of great people, including Representative Elijah Cummings, Cameron Boyce, Tyler Skaggs, and Doris Day. Many have also been lost in mass shootings, both in the U.S. and abroad, with over 20 taking the lives of more than 120 over this past year. Christmas music came on way too early this year. I know I was listening to it. And also, we had Thanksgiving. I, I ate way too much for Thanksgiving. So many Reese's. Oh. Great. That's a good segue into Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> um, don't you know that I could, it's his Thanksgiving dinner? I could literally eat a I whole didn't, bag. I didn't know this. It's just Reese's, right? My mom brought bought us those Christmas mystery shapes, and I didn't eat anything for lunch the day that I drove home. And as soon as I got home, I just ripped open the bag, and I was just like, I am not going to go. So many Reese's. So this one is a... The Beacon put out so much new video content this year. I'm saying video stonks are way up. We had one, two, and 2.5 seasons of Busted this year. That's crazy. Busted's come such a long way. We've also got the introduction of Beacon Breakdown. Oh, yes. Breaking down all the cool new trailers and stuff. Be looking for that to come back next semester. We've also got all the new video game reviews. Beacon Gaming Reviews from Jake Yoder. We also started doing retro beacon gaming with the throwbacks with the blue logo you've seen it you know what it's about be looking out for more of that coming up we also got new what to watch wednesdays and old what to watch wednesdays plugged in beacon beauty beacon bites so much great new content in 2019 can i forget did i forget i didn't forget pop and politics are new Political analysis show. Never seen that before in the Beacon. Oh, oh yeah. That's all about the video stuff. Don't miss more content, including Busted Season 3 in the spring. More ramen, more Busted, more Braxton, more guests. It's going to be great. <laughs> That's it for the yearly wrap-up. 2019 has been... An epic year. Too bad John couldn't be in this one like the last yearly wrap up. He's probably like stuck in the video closet or something like that. Maybe he'll be back. But for sure, I'll be back next semester doing the weekly wrap up and yearly wrap ups and all the, you know, all the, you know the deal. That's it for your weekly wrap up. I mean, yearly wrap up with your host, Austin Orr.